And once again, welcome back to another episode of Planet Crafter. Where in the last episode, we were able to find all of the awesome butterflies that were scattered around the map. And we were able to get hit in the face by a giant asteroid. So, oh boy, do we have a lot to do today. There is something that I want to do, and that is regarding the Terraformation Index. Now, currently we're sitting at a nice uh, 9.82 TTI, but our amphibian stage is 0.02% which is really really slow so i was hoping maybe i can actually do a couple of things to speed that up now looking at our energy consumption we have currently got 40 heater tier fours online and 40 of the drill tier fours so i was hoping maybe i can increase that all the way to maybe a hundred each yeah that's right we're gonna do a hundred heater tier fours and a hundred drill tier fours so hopefully that should help speed up like the pressure and the heat and then I would like to go ahead and actually craft up a whole bunch of more tree spreaders. Well, the tier 3 tree spreaders. So hopefully we can bring that up to like an even 50. So we're going to have 50 tree spreader tier 3s, 100 heater tier 4s, and 100 drill tier 4s. Wow, that's going to be incredible. I've also gone ahead and I've remade the farming area. So yeah, our farming area is a little bit bigger than it was before. We currently have, how many do we have? Like 4, 8, 12. We've got 12 little of these farms going. And uh, yeah, you can see we got eight plots which are dedicated to growing eggplant. And we got four of the spots uh, dedicated to growing squash. So that should hopefully give us all the, the vegetables that we need. But we might just expand this out a little bit too. So before we start that, I wanted to go ahead and look at some of the things that actually might be coming in the future. Now, thank you so much to Bad Mouse or Dave from Bad Mouse Gaming. He kind of gave me the idea on how to find objects that are actually maybe coming in the future. And one of them are actually fireflies. Look at that, firefly larva. Now we don't have a picture for that yet and it doesn't really go in any of the display cases. So you can't exactly see what that's all about. But firefly larva, definitely a thing and it's coming soon. Now the other thing that's very interesting are these pulsar chips. Now I've got no idea what we can actually use pulsar chips for, but I can imagine it's probably going to be used to build some heavy kind of machinery, or maybe it can be used to like unlock something. Actually, wait, let's see if we can actually use it. Now you see, you can't be scanned right now. Uh, it's right now, it's only being used for blueprint microchips can be scanned. So I guess I'm not exactly sure what these things are gonna be used for, but that is really interesting and yeah. Uh, I wouldn't suggest uh, going ahead and actually getting these objects to right yet. I don't know if it's going to break the game. So yeah, um, that's why I did it on a previous save of mine so that I don't break my main save. Anyway, let's get started with today's episode. Uh, I guess we're going to need a lot of resources to get all of the things that we need. Um, such as we're going to need to get... Uh, what do we need exactly? We are going to need a ton of fertilizer tier 2. We're going to need a couple of bacteria samples, some tree bark, that's to create all the tree spreaders. And uh, obviously we're going to need a lot of things for, what are we going to need for the drills? Okay, that's actually not so bad. It's just a couple of super alloy. Uh, we got need osmium. That one's actually a lot more simpler than, yeah, heater tier 4. That's going to be quite hectic because we're going to need a lot of iridium rods for that. So let's go and see um first of all i think i do have iridium now i've kind of rebuilt this like bottom area uh, it was a lot bigger before but now i've kind of like made it a little bit more compact so yeah we do have quite a lot of iridium rods okay now nothing over there so that should be okay um let's see upstairs i'm not sure how many i still got upstairs we can actually go and check right now um where is it there we go okay so we got we got a fair amount of like iridium rods so that should be okay i guess we're probably going to have to craft up a few more of them now the only other things that i need is actually going to have to get the fertilizer to make the trees as well as we're going to need quite a lot of tree no well tree seeds itself um now i think okay i've currently only have five tree seeds left over mm, so that's not going to be the best so I'm going to have to craft up a whole bunch of tree seeds as well as a lot of other things. So yeah, I guess I'm going to have to get started with that. After many hours of grinding, I managed to get everything that I need, I think. I've got quite a lot of fertilizer tier 2. I think we're going to need a little bit more than that. Um, on the other side, I do have a lot of iridium. I managed to fill this up as well as the two lockers downstairs. Uh, let's go and see 
these lockers are filled with iridium rods too. So, okay, that took a really, really long time. Now, the other thing that I do have is I think I've got a couple of like bacterial samples. Uh, actually, that might actually be down in my lab over here. Yeah, I've got a couple of bacterial samples. Uh, I've got a couple of mutagens. I don't think I need that to actually make a tree spreader. No, I don't. The only thing, I need a lot of fertilizer tier two. The tree bark and things, I'm actually not too worried about. That's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, okay, so we've got a fair amount. Oh, and the other thing that I got is I got quite a lot of extra seeds, well, tree seeds that we'd be able to grow like a fair amount of like different ones. So yeah, I guess um, what I want to do now is I, well, okay, first of all, I think I need to grab a couple of iron pieces. Uh, where is my iron? I keep getting confused between where are all the things over here. There's iron. I think I'm going to have to grab a couple of iron pieces and then I need to go ahead and actually create a couple of lockers down in the areas where I want to build and then I'm just going to have to transport all of the materials down there. But first, I think I'm going to have to start expanding out this platform because uh, I think it's going to have to accommodate a whole bunch of more heaters. Yeah, I think there's going to be a ton of extra heaters here. So we're going to have to start expanding it out in this direction. So I guess we're going to just uh, just get started doing all of that. Okay, well, I think we got the platform that we need. Wow, this took a long time to make all of this. And it sucked up a massive amount of resources. So yeah, I'm sure you guys know where I got all my resources from. I got it here at my resource bay. So I'm super happy that I built this thing because if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't have all the resources that I need to build all these crazy things. So I'm really happy that I built all of this. Okay, well, let's start building some heaters, I guess. Um, I've got all my inventory, well, all the ma uh, materials that I need, like, right over here. So that's going to make it, uh, hopefully, a little bit more convenient. Um, okay, so in the first ones, we have a lot of uh, iridium rods. Now, I think I can only take, like, five of each one. Uh, like, five of these, five of these. No, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to need ten iridium rods, five of these... And I'm going to need, I think, 15 of these. Yeah, because I can only take those. So I can only make like five heaters at a time. So, uh, no? Ah, yeah. <laughs> I was just about to think, oh my goodness, I'm going to get something wrong now. Anyway, okay, so let's start building. Uh, I guess it's trying to get this as like near to the middle as possible. Oh, does I remember this being like a little bit tedious. Because like I'm like... I really want it to be like kind of center. Okay, so that's going to be one. Let's build another one like uh, this, I guess. That's center enough. So I guess there's going to be six going down and then like 10 across. So that should be 60 and then plus the other 40. So yeah, we've got 100. Wow. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to continue doing this and then see how far do I get. Okay, well, I've become surprisingly good at, like, actually placing these things down. Uh, I think the more you do it, the better you actually get at actually putting these things down and putting them, like, centered. So, I think uh, that should be half of them. Yeah, so that is 30. Yeah, that's, like, 30 of these heaters put down already. Oh, that's crazy. Anyway, like, before I put down the other 30, I want to go and see what is our actual, like, energy consumption. Because I think our energy consumption has definitely gone up. So, currently, we should have 70. There should be 70 of those heaters online. Yes! Okay, 70 heater tier 4s. Working at 3,605 kilowatts. Okay, it's not so bad. Wait, how much power do we have left over? Yeah, we still got 48,000 kilowatts left over. So that we got tons of power left over. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to continue the grind. And then hopefully we can finish up the rest of the study.
And there we have it. We have got all of our heaters online. That is 100 of them. Oh my goodness, that took forever to build. But I'm so happy it's done. Anyway, let's go and see what is our power consumption like. Uh, that's going to actually be quite interesting to see what exactly is happening there. Uh, let's go and see here. Yes, 100 heater tier 4s. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, 5,150 kilowatts. Not bad. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is we're going to have to go and build a whole bunch of drill tier 4s. So that's going to take up a lot of inventory space and a lot of super alloys. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so I'm super happy we got all our drills. Actually, you know what? Let's go and see what does it look like from up there. Oh my goodness, look at that. That is colossal. That is super good. We've got an amazing like 10 by 10 block, exactly 100. That's awesome. It's so nice to have it as one square. Now, I guess the only other thing that we can do in the future is we can actually go and extend each perimeter out with all of the fusion generators. So I think currently we have, how many is it? So it's two per block. So there's what, what that says, six? So we got uh, six times two, that's 12. So yeah, we got 24. Oh, uh, is that right? 24, no, we got 48. So we can like build another 48 like fusion generators. That would be awesome. That would be super cool in the future. Anyway, now that we got that done, let's go ahead and start building a whole bunch of these drills. Okay, so I think I managed to get all of the materials that I need to actually go ahead and build all of these drills. And there is a lot of them. Oh my goodness, this is taking so long. This is taking hours and hours of grinding to be able to get all these materials, but okay, I finally got it. So now I guess I'm going to basically like just put a whole bunch of drills all around this area. Wherever I can find like a free spot, I'm just going to put like drills. Anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is um, let's actually just fill this up. Now, I think what I need is I need six of these as well as then three of the others. Uh, so I'm not even just exactly sure. Uh, let's just grab 20 of them. And we're just going to fill the rest up with osmium. And hopefully we can create some drills. Let's see if we can actually do that. Okay, there's one. There's one. At least I don't have to spend a long time like trying to place them. Like trying to place them like evenly. Because I'm just going to be scattering them around the, uh, well, around the map. Anyway, let's go grab the rest of these. Uh, we'll grab some of those. Uh, I don't even know how much. I'm just going to grab randomly. Because it takes too long to like actually like plan it out exactly. So I'm just going to like grab materials and make. So let's see. We got one and we got another one. And maybe we can do another one. Okay, cool. So I guess I can just continue doing this until I've got no more resources left. Okay, so I think I managed to get the last of the materials. All of these lockers are empty. And oh my goodness, look at all this. There is so many drills. It's like you can't go anywhere without like finding a drill somewhere. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I like this part because it's like you got these tall trees and they're like all kind of like hidden away. Hey, wait, there's an empty spot here. Okay, so let's put one there. I think I can only put another three of them. And where else? This is going to be the last one. And that's it. All my materials are done. So that should be a hundred drills. Oh, can't believe it. It took forever. I can't believe it took so long. My goodness. Anyway, let's go and see what is the power consumption like. Uh... Yeah, we got 100 drills. Okay, so they use a lot less power than the heaters. We all got, what, 4,550 kilowatts. Ew, wow. I can't believe that. I'm really happy with that, actually. So what is our terraformation index looking like? Hmm. I don't know. It's like, you wouldn't even say that we had, like, so many heaters and so many, like, drills put up because it's, like, not moving. We're still on 0.02%. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, okay, so I guess amphibian stage is gonna come like in a couple of years time. <laughs> like, I don't know, I can leave the game running for like a couple of years and hopefully I'll get there. Okay, last but not least, we need to go ahead and make some trees. Now, I wanna see how many trees do I actually have? No, that's not the right one. I've got uh, 36 trees, so I need 14 more tree spreaders. Well, I've got 36 tree spreaders, so I need 14 of them. So, okay, let, I'm going to plant a lot of these because I really like like how big they are. And okay, so that's five already. So we're going to like kind of randomly select blah, 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 blah. And that one. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I, I'm happy with that. We got 14 seeds. Okay, so I guess where are we actually going to be planting these tree spreaders? Because that is another question. And the waterfall area is absolutely perfect. Look at this, all this open space. This is just begging for trees. So yeah, I guess we're gonna start populating this place with trees. I can't wait. Okay, so we're gonna be putting one of those because I really like that tree, of course. So you guys all know that by now. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna kind of like randomly put these around. Um, here, we can put one there. Let's put uh, one of those seeds in there. And I guess we can put another one. I'm not sure now. Uh, we're just going to put it there. Oh, you know, I can't wait to actually come back and see what does this whole area look like once all the trees have like populated. Yes, we got one, two, three. Let's have put one over here somewhere. Put another seed in there. And where else can we put one? I think maybe we need to put one on the hill over there. Yeah, I think that's going to look better. We're going to put one on the hill. So it's kind of like blending into the, what is that? The crater biome. Okay, let's see if I can just get up the hill here. I can't believe this, like this area is massive actually. You, if you had to build a base here, I think if I had to make another uh, playthrough, I would definitely build a base over here because you've got so much space to like expand out. Okay, so there's our last tree spreader, and this is gonna have our last seed. Boom. Okay, so that is five tree spreaders. So I guess we can come back here in a while and see what it actually looks like. Okay, so the next area I'm sure you guys have guessed is going to be here in the dark moon base. This place looks so barren. I'm not even sure if there will be trees to be able to grow without any light, but... It's just a game, so I'm sure it will. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and populate some trees. Oh, where's our seeds? Okay, I think this area is much smaller than obviously the waterfall biome. So I guess we can't put as many of the tree spreaders. So I guess we're going to have to be a little bit like, I don't know. Actually, you know what? I wonder what it would look like if you just built like a whole bunch of tree spreaders like on top of each other. I guess it will definitely add to the density. So let's go put one of those. Hey, there's trees over there. Okay, let's like kind of like have them like knit together. So we're going to put one over here. Nice. And that can have a seed. And where else? Where else can we put one? Right on top of this hill. Yes, absolutely perfect. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, let's put our last. No. Let's put our last seed in there. <laughs> anyway, cool. Hey, look at this. Nice. And we got our first trees coming. Nice. Anyway, we'll come back in a while to come and check up on this area. I think this is going to be kind of awesome. Okay, so for our next seed, we are going to put it here. Basically, the canyon biome is over that side. And we've got our aluminium fields on this side. So I thought this area is kind of like sparse. Maybe we can actually put something over here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put another seed in here. So that's one. I guess uh, we can actually put another one just uh, to the side over here. Give it some good distance and uh, we can put this one in here. Let's put a seed, this one. Okay, and the other two that I want to do is actually in the canyon. Yeah, this biome is actually really awesome. But it's got like no trees, nothing. So we're definitely going to change that. Let's go and put another one of the tree spreaders right here. Nice. Okay, so we're going to put one of those seeds and I don't know where else. That's going to at least put like trees around this area. 
And where else can we put one? Hmm. I think right here. This would be good. Like kind of like in this gorge. So you can actually see it when you're like standing on the hill over there. So that's cool. That's our last seed. Awesome. So let's go and see our energy. And see we have how many tree spreaders. Where's our trees? Oh, there we go. It's right at the top. Wow, 50 tree spreaders. Using, wow, 7,650 kilowatt. Wow, they are definitely very power hungry. My goodness. But we should be generating a ton of oxygen. So yeah, you can definitely see the oxygen meter is running about the fastest one out of all of them. But it's still not affecting our <laughs> terraformation index. My goodness, 0.02%. Uh, I don't think that's ever going to change. And there it is, guys. This looks amazing. So many trees. Wow. This area just actually like has come alive. This looks so much better than it was before. Wow, look at that. I'm super happy. As well as here by the dark moon base. Wow, this area is completely covered. This looks amazing. It definitely gives this like area a little bit of like life because this looks so much better than it was before. Oh my goodness. I'm loving it. Okay, so let's see. Where is our other tree spreaders? Okay, so here we buy the canyon biome. You don't really see too much. I don't know. I thought it would be a little bit more dense than it is now. Okay, so that's some of our trees down there. Let's see, I don't think I can jump. Oh, okay, here we go. We can actually see from across here. Well, let's just go down. Let's go and see. Here we got this tree spreader, but there's like nothing around it. I don't know. I thought there would be more trees. Oh, well. And this looks actually much better. Wow, this area looks so much more alive now. I like the fact that there is a, like a lot of green moss. Kind of ties in with the trees and the water. It makes the place look so much better. Okay, so overall, I think the trees are definitely a win. Anyway, guys, this brings me on to the end of another episode. Wow, this episode really took a long time and it took many hours to actually make. It took a lot of grinding, but finally we are there. We have a hundred of these drills, a hundred heater tier fours, and we have 50 tree spreaders. Wow. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys really like this, please like give me a like. And if you guys haven't subbed yet, please sub because that really helps the channel grow. And it really makes it worth it putting in all these hours. So thank you guys so much. Anyway, guys, you guys know what to do until next time. Peace out.